Hello everyone, I'm glad to see you on the channel. In this video we'll talk about early repolarization and discuss whether it's normal or pathological. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to not miss any new videos. And we are starting, let's go! So, what does early repolarization represent? It's certain changes that we can see on NCG. The prevalence of early repolarization ranges from 5 to 18% and it usually occurs in young individuals. Early repolarization pattern is often an incidental finding on the ECG without any clinical symptoms or presentation. Historically, early repolarization on the ECG was considered a marker of good health because it was more common in young individuals, athletes and with low heart rates. Is it really safe? Recent data suggest an association between early repolarization and an increased risk of life-threatening arrhythmias. We will discuss this in more details later in the video. In the most literature sources, early repolarization is defined as a G-point elevation more than or equal to 1 mm in 2 or more contiguous lids on the ECG. Changes in the terminal part of the curious complex and notch at the end of curious complex with or without a segment elevation. Changes on the ECG can be transient. Let's analyze a few ECG examples. ECG of a young individual 21 years old without complaints or cardiac pathology in the medical history. On the ECG, we can see significant ST segment elevation more than 1 mm at leads 2, 3, and AVF. Let's look at another ECG. Here we also see ST segment elevation at lead 2, 3, and AVF, as well as deformation of terminal part of the curious complex. I've already mentioned that early repolarization is associated with a higher risk of life-treating arrhythmias. Based on this risk, there is a classification of early repolarization. Type 1 early repolarization features are noted in lateral chest leads and are mostly benign. This type is common seen in healthy male athletes. Type 2 early repolarization features are noted in inferior or lateral leads. This type is associated with a moderate risk. Type 3 early repolarization features are noted in inferior, lateral and right chest leads. And this type is associated with highest risk of malignant arrhythmias. The G point with rapidly ascending ST segment is considered a benign form of early repolarization. G point with horizontal or descending ST segment is considered a malignant form. Analyzing the type of early repolarization, we observe changes in the terminal part of the curious complex with notching at lead 2, 3, AVF, V4, V5, and V6. This elevation is rapidly ascending. This corresponds in the inferior and lateral leads, which can be classified as type 2 early repolarization. It's associated with a moderate risk of developing arrhythmias. What is the difference between early repolarization syndrome and pattern? Pattern it's ECG features of early repolarization without clinical symptoms or arrhythmias. Syndrome – it's ECG features of early repolarization plus symptomatic arrhythmias. Thank you for watching my video. If you want more videos about ECG, subscribe to my channel.